After taking office, the Phuket Governor Pricha Rungjan on Saturday evening met with Phuket members of parliament and senators for the first time. The governor said he wants to meet and listen to the people's representatives' ideas and suggestions leading to integration and cooperation for local development. The development would then come from government officials, political representatives, and businesses. The governor stressed that the meetings would lead to action in response to local people's needs. This includes the garbage issue, environmental rehabilitation, and water supply to be in line with the tourism growth. Meanwhile, appointed Senator, Senate member from Phuket, Mr. Pumisak Hongsio, said he suggests the governor find ways to revive the tourist resort's natural environment. He also pointed out the fact that Phuket brings in vast amounts of foreign currencies for the country, so that the governor should draw more budget from central government in support of local development and fast-growing tourism. Meanwhile, Phuket Democrat Party MP Tosaporn Tepebrut insists that restoring stability for tourism in the wake of the world financial crisis is among the top or urgent issues which need attention. Another issue he sees as needing to be tackled in Phuket is too many migrants coming to seek jobs. Another MP from Phuket, Chalamlat Kipsap, also from the Democrat Party, asked the governor to push for more allocation of central government's budget to Phuket. She said Phuket earns the country a lot of income but receives fewer funds as the fund allocation is based on the number of few registered population compared to the actual population. The new Phuket governor pledges to support international businesses in Phuket as diversity of investment help boost the economy. The International Business Association of Phuket, or IBAP, held its annual business fair exhibition at Central Festival over the last four days, October 23rd through the 26th, with 34 of its member companies and charities out of its total of 104 members exhibiting displays and information. The new Phuket governor, Dr. Pricha Rungjan, who just started work last week, made a tour of most of the displays and talked to various foreign and Thai business and charity members there. The governor pointed out that the get-together and cooperation of diverse investors or businesses would lead to improvement and development of business in Phuket. Asked about any new measures he plans to support, the foreign businesses as incentives, Mr. Pricha said the provincial authority would support the businesses in terms of providing convenient access to facilitate or make easier their investments with basic infrastructure provision. He also said the provincial office is linked with private organizations on investment data to support investors. By the way, we have an interview with the Vice President of IBAP on Wednesday's program. And now for local development, the road expansion project near the Two Heroines Monument will start soon with the plan design under modification. The local government of Sri Santorn will hold a meeting with the Provincial Administration Organization and the Phuket Highway Office to modify the plan design for the road expansion around the Two Heroines Monument to be more complete and meet the highway standard. According to Tamarong Tantiwirat Khun, the president of Sri Santorn Administration Organization, the road must be widened to six meters on each side. Water drainage pipes will also be put in to resolve flood problems. Other facilities will comprise landscaping, pavement, barricade, and passenger shades for public transport. The project costs 10 million baht and is supported by the Provincial Administration Organization. An exhibition of unusual aerial photos from around the world, including some taken in Thailand, is now on show at Central Festival Phuket. The internationally acclaimed photo exhibition called Earth from Above, an aerial portrait of our planet towards a sustainable development by Mr. Yann Arthus Bertrand, a French eco-photographer, is now being exhibited for free at Phuket Central Festival Outdoor Arena until the 1st of February 2009. This exhibition, in collaboration with Zen Department Store and Raymond Land PLC, is part of Central Festival Phuket's fourth anniversary and Save Phuket, Save Our Planet project to create awareness among shoppers and instill a more proactive approach to dealing with the environment. The 20 million baht exhibition comprises 120 large aerial photos taken mainly from a helicopter in various locations of the world 
including six in Thailand, with two from Phuket of a rice field and the elephant shrine at Phrom Thet Cape, plus one of Koh Phangi in Panga. This is considered to be the biggest outdoor photo art exhibition ever held in Phuket. There is also an oversized world map on the ground so visitors can locate the dramatic scenes in photos. This exhibition has been shown around the world since starting in Paris in 2000 and has been seen by more than 120 million people in 110 cities, together with a book of the same name which has sold 3 million copies in 24 languages. The photographer also set up GoodPlanet.org, a nonprofit outfit for sustainable development. And now Bangkok Hospital Phuket is collecting donations of old clothes for needy people in the northeast of Thailand. Pianut Anantakdi, the Community Social Responsibility, or CSR project manager at Bangkok Hospital Phuket, informed Anaman News at their stall in the recent IBAT business fair that they are requesting the Phuket public or visitors to look through their closets or suitcases for any unused clothes, shoes, bags, toys, etc., and donate them at the hospital as this year they are going to bring the donation items to Nongbua Lumpu province in the northeast, northeastern region of Thailand. This province is in the bottom three of 76 provinces in Thailand that has the lowest income per month per person. They will make sure the donated items will be distributed to underprivileged people in Nongbua Lumpu by the end of this year. The donation box is in the OPD hall at the Bangkok Hospital Phuket until November 12, 2008. For more information, please telephone 076-254-425 or the mobile phone number 081-538-9513 or email pianucha at bgh.co.th. A woman was arrested in Katu for amphetamine dealing. Ladawan Titmong Khon, age 31, from Phuket, was brought in for questioning after she was arrested with 4,040 amphetamine tablets. The arrest took place on October 24th while the suspect was driving a car to deliver the drugs to clients in Patong and Kalim Beach. The operation was carried out by Katu police who oversee the tourist location of Patong. Present at the press conference, the Phuket governor, Preacher Rungjan, stressed the urgent need to tackle drug problems and told police to continue proactive suppression with an emphasis on major dealers while the minor or drug addicts must be brought in for rehabilitation. Now going further to Renong, where a tsunami evacuation shelter has been built in Kapoor district. Almost four years after the tsunami hit the rim of the Indian Ocean, including the Annam and coastal provinces of Thailand, residents in the tsunami-prone location in Bang Ben village of Kapoor district in Renong province now have a tsunami evacuation shelter to ease their fear and concern. The 10 million baht new facility was funded by the Chai Patana Foundation, which is graciously initiated by His Majesty the King. The evacuation shelter will also be functioning as multi-purpose facilities such as a career training center and other community activities. On this occasion, a pier for local fishermen was also handed over to the villagers so that they can moor fishing boats and send out fishery products in all seasons. After the handover, the district office plans to pass on the new facilities to be under the care of the local government of Muang Kluang, which will improve roads accesses building fences, and installing electricity. After the ceremony, the Secretary General of the Chai Patana Foundation, Dr. Sumit Tandivetchakun, told villagers to look after the facilities and make the best use in response to wishes of His Majesty the King, who is the President, and Her Royal Highness Princess Maha Chakri Surintorn, who is the Executive Chairman of the Foundation. Now some sports. 19 local governments in Phuket are taking part in local sports events now being held. The sports center at Sapanhin in Phuket was packed with management and staff of 19 local governments in Phuket who attended a ceremony to mark the opening of the first local government sports event on Saturday. The games are hosted by Rasada Municipality, aiming at promoting sports and unity among local officials and people. Phuket Governor Pritcha Rungjan witnessed the opening ceremony. 
The sports event kicked off with volleyball between Waseda Municipality and a team from Tepkasatri Municipality. Both were very well supported by their friends. Eight types of sports will be competed for during the event. They are male and female football, male sapak takra, female volleyball, male and female pen pentak, table tennis, golf, and athletics. The sports event will go on until November 22nd.